Hi, everyone, and welcome. Uh, welcome from Bali. And I'm going to talk to a new friend, Courtney, about um, some thoughts she had. We met at the cafe. You're going to be able to, we're filming outdoors. And so Bali's kind of, you know, you're going to get nature, you're going to get animals, you're going to get mopeds and motorcycles. Motor cars <laughs> and lawnmowers yeah. and dogs barking and chickens fucking. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Um, and so I met Courtney, and she's going to be our guest today. And thank you for having me. It's yeah. been such an honor meeting you. Oh, well, thank you. It's been such a delight. Courtney got me to go to yoga class, which was lovely. <laughs> so tell me, Courtney, what's been on your mind? What are you curious about? So I, um, when we were sitting at lunch, yeah. I asked you what your writing process is, mm. which is kind of a vague question, right? Like, um, there's a lot of pieces to that. Um, right. And the reason I asked is because I'm in the process of sharing my story. Mm. And so I have my way of doing things. Yeah. But, and what's that? Um, well, sporadically. I, I sit down for two hours. I put my timer on for two hours, and I type and type and type. I have an outline. Uh -huh. um, basically, maybe they're chapters, who knows, um, but writing points, yep. and I just talk about the writing point. My thing is um, I go along with the, the idea of the morning pages, which is I'm constantly typing, and if I don't know what to type, I type. I don't know what to type next. Yeah, that's Julie Cameron. Yes. Julie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so grateful for her. She opened me right up to this writing. creative process. Yes. Ah, so wonderful. Yes. So, so first of all, I think you're on the right track. That's that's number one. And this must have been triggered by me when you asked me what do I do, and I said I'm a doctor who's a communication coach that writes books. So um, amazing books that help change the world. Like, I haven't <laughs> read it yet, but talking any uh, clarifying communication is so needed in mm -hmm. this world. So it thank you is. for doing that work. Oh, you, you are so real. welcome. So I guess uh, this is kind of a big question for a lot of people. I, mm -hmm. I'll tell you that in the acknowledgments of my book, I write. It looks like I wrote a book, but. Pretty much this book rewrote me and I think that writing a book is a healing process I think it's uh, cathartic I think there's many stories that I had to learn even though I was really attached to them we're not going to make it in the book and those ones are for your blogs those ones are for the next book those ones are for so don't think if that happens they're not gone they're not gone they're just not in the structure of this book. Yep. They don't fit in this book. But you can you can use them in other ways. So that's the first thing I tell you. The second one is um, I like your morning pages way, mm -hmm. and it seems to be working for you. Yeah, it yeah. gets it gets out um, ideas that I'm not second guessing myself. I'm mm -hmm. just blah blah blah. blah. Yep. So it kind of gets you out of your own way. Gets me out of my own way, and I'm super honest. Oh. And I'm using words that I think might offend people. Mm. And that's okay. And it's, it's in, this is your first draft. That's okay. You just keep going. That's okay. All right. So, um, so the first thing I'd say is, um, are you uh, blogging or are you uh, kind of getting a following of people that you're giving uh, maybe some lessons because you're a coach, you're mm -hmm. uh, a fitness trainer, mm -hmm. uh, you have all these talents. That's right. I, the first thing you want to do is you need to build a platform, yeah. okay, because we don't have bookstores anymore, right? Okay, so you are your own bookstore. So what you want to do is you want to give people valuable content, you want to give it away free, mm -hmm. you want to set up your social media so that you can get their emails, even though email seems like, you know, a little ancient. Mm -hmm. But it's the way that you can directly connect to them, whereas things like Facebook and all that kind of stuff, it's like only if they see your yeah. in the feed, right? But Instagram's really big, right? There's all sorts of different ways. Um, but you want to create a newsletter or a blog mm -hmm. where and in the process, people start to get excited as you give away fun tips and uh, experiences 
of your journey. So now they're bought into it. So when the book actually comes out, they're like, I want that. But that's scary. What's scary? Because I have a beautiful Instagram that I really, like, I love posting on my Instagram. And um, it's Body Journey by Courtney. Um, but it's good plug. It's, that, that was good. <laughs> follow me. Um, but the it's fitness related. Uh -huh. I want to be come across as professional. Mm -hmm. This book that I'm writing, yeah, is personal. very different. It is very personal. Mm. How do I mesh the two? Start where you can help them in a credible um, way, so that they know you're legit. They know you're the real deal. Help them. Give away information. Make it real. Make it good. Make it solid. Engage with them. Okay. Let them get to know you before you like do this big reveal, right? Of of things that are personal and all this kind of stuff. Um, I actually this time am here in Bali with a coaching friend of ten years ago, Amy. Um, because she followed me on my video blogs and saw me coming to Bali, and she was like, "I like your work." But I loved that you went to Bali every year. And I said to her this year, you want to come with? Mm. And so I think there's a way that once people really like you and they trust you, you can even show more and more of yourself. Mm. Right? And you gotta, you got to be comfortable with that. you got to uh, trust it. I have to tell you, for about three, two, three months before my book was literally being released, because my book's personal. It's not a regular... Uh, doctor book where we talk about other people's experiences and patients. I have practical tools about communication and I talk about how my inability to communicate and how it manifested in throat constriction and all sorts of things. Things that happened with my dad's temper, my sister's anxiety. I, I talk about it all. And so three months, two months before the book was launching, I didn't sleep. I was getting nervous because once it's out there, it's out there. Exactly. Right? Yes. And so there's a way that part of this writing process is about preparing you. Yes. It's about your healing. And it will heal you in the process and just trust it. And the other thing I tell you, just some practical things. One question at the very beginning you asked is, what's my process? My process is I need to talk it out. So I get on a video conferencing uh, you know, app with my editor. And she helps me with structure. I answer questions and talk things out. Mm -hmm. And when she asks me a question, like, how is this connected to that? I say, oh, well, it's connected because, and we're both typing in the same document. And I just talk it out. Now, that gets pretty extensive. So what I ended up doing now is finding Better find a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, have an assistant. I have a friend. And when I, I talk things out now, and I do that work ahead of time so she can read through it. Then she structures things, and she asks me good questions that help me put it together. So the next thing I tell you is, once you have it all out there, to get a really good editor to work with to help you get structure to it yes. and tell you what's happening. Because it does it, I, I put pressure on myself to say, I need to be the one that edits properly. I need mm. to be the one no, that no. does the no, nope. you were the one who had the experience, and you're the one who needs to be able to share. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. I and, love that. Yeah. And so I actually have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a plug here. Well, the first one is, when, my, when I got the book deal, because I didn't have a platform at the time, like a social media platform, my um, publishing house sent me a book called Platform. I think it's a really simple, uh, it's sometimes overwhelming because you see how many things they want you to do to like set everything up. Mm. But I think it's uh, concrete. And it's good. Okay. Okay. So there's a book platform. And then the reason I'm in Bali is because of this beautiful editor. Um, her name's Kelly Nataris. And she was doing a writing retreat out here. Mm -hmm. And she just published a book that I'm going to show everybody because, Kelly, you're awesome. Um, it's called The Book You Were Born to Write. And she goes through here. I have just started uh, reading it and going through it, but she is thorough. She is experienced. She is really good. Mm -hmm. um, I would say Julia Cameron's The Morning Pages mm -hmm. is phenomenal. The Writer's Way. And it's called The Writer's mm -hmm. It's The Writer's Way. I think so. Yeah. yeah. The uh, Artist's Way. The Artist's Way. Yeah, now I remember it. And there's morning journaling pages yes. that you do, and you do three pages of stream of consciousness writing every morning. 
and exactly the it way it has you're... blossomed me open. Wow, huge game changer. Well, that's a, a good start. Yeah. I, what do you think? Now, last question. Okay. How do you discipline your time? Mm. I thought you set a timer for two hours for yourself. But I only do it some days. Mm. Do you give yourself a Monday through Friday, or I'm going to do this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or what? I'm not a big person on, I wish I was more structured, I would tell you. What I do is things like come to Bali for a month and <laughs> and bring my, you know, bring someone with me and then I work about, you know, two to four hours a day yeah. uh, doing it. But I guess I become more disciplined when I feel supported. Interesting, yeah. So, That's a good point. so what I would do is ask yourself, what can you do to support yourself so you don't have to, like, punish yourself to do this? Oh, bless you for saying that. <laughs> yes. That's what I would start thinking about. Okay. Okay. That's great. It's how do I support myself in a way that writing is joyful and healing for me. There it is. All right. Yeah. All right. So I know there are books out there waiting to be written. Every one of you has a book. <laughs> Every one of you. And I am so proud of you for embarking on it. It's a huge and beautiful gift to not only give yourself to heal, but to share in the world. It's a courageous mm -hmm. act. It, and it feels very healing already. Mm. Yeah. And the other thing I tell you is make it, make it as simple as you can. Simple and clear is what the reader wants. Okay, yeah. If you take them through an emotional journey, just make sure that you give them, like, and what I got from this was this, this, and this, and how it can apply to you is, yeah. right? So always be thinking about that. Okay. And I am going to give to you uh, a copy of Talk RX because you, yeah, yeah you are just uh, open. You are just willing to share mm -hmm. uh, with everyone, and, and uh, I hope inspire them to get working on that book. Yes, I hope so too. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, until next time, saying bye, signing off from Bali.